Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, we're trying out the new Fenty Moroccan Spice palette. I just got this in the mail today and I had to use it in a video for you guys as soon as possible. I didn't really go into too much depth when I was using the eyeshadows just because they were working so nicely. And sometimes when I don't have anything to complain about, you don't really think about like the good side of it. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I don't notice how nicely products are working on my face. I don't know if that makes any sense. A really pleasant experience using these. I had no problems whatsoever. Just really nice eyeshadows, really nice palette. I love the colors. Super pigmented, I didn't have too much fallout. Um, and they just were really smooth and buttery. I just kind of stuck to these shades here, like this red shade, because I'm always drawn to those colors. Um, and just like the plum sort of tones. And yeah, just kind of stuck within that range today because I wanted to match it. To my top. I didn't really mean to put any glitter on my eyelids, but that's what happened, so I don't really know. But I'll be doing other videos using this palette for you guys, especially using the blue colors that are in there, because I haven't done a blue look at all, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember if I have. I usually always just do warm tones. I just wanted to do something that was in my kind of comfort zone um, and just play around with the colors that I liked to see how I felt about the palette. It's basically just a boring ass shoot. Nothing special for you guys, I am very sores. Um, but I will have more videos coming. I have a couple of clothing hauls coming and I have some chatty videos too. Got lots of stuff planned. But anyway, that's my boring intro for my boring video for my boring channel. Hopefully you guys like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on notifications so you can see anytime I'm uploading my boring videos and I will see you in my next video. We're going to start off with the eyes today. The first product we're going to try out is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eye Primer. So they just came out with this. They're launching so many products at the moment. I feel like they just... I feel like there was a launch the other week. Like my last video that you guys would have seen was probably my last Fenty review on the Beach Please collection. And now, now I've got this stuff. First things first though, I am going to go in... There it is. Um, with my... Unicorn tape. Mine still has eyelash glue on it. It's had it on there for months and I just have not bothered to take it off. But if you guys have been subscribed to me for a little while, you would know that I used to always use my unicorn tape um, anytime that I did like eyeliner or something like that. So I'm going to do some eyeliner today and I'm going to bring back the unicorn tape. Oh, they're so not even. Not even close. Oh, shit, dude. Where can I get this? Is that even? No. Why do my eyes look different? I swear, like, I have two different eyes, man. No. No. Well, this piece is way too long. Oh my God, I've done it again. It's not long enough. Surely that's even. Why can't I do this? One of my eyes is just, like, not the right same it's not the right same that's that's doing now we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter eye primer this literally looks exactly the same as the face primer but for your eyes so see what this is like because I usually just like to use a concealer as my eye primer I never use like a proper eye primer is that too fucking much I don't know what the hell do I blend out this with maybe just a brush The eye primer just kind of makes your eyelids feel like tacky and ready for some eyeshadow. I really don't have any feedback to give on that eye primer because I just never use eye primers. Um, so yeah, it's it's an eye primer. It seems just like all the other ones that I've tried and it never sounded good on that, we'll see. We're going to jump in with the new Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Palette. Look how cute this is. I really like that they stay true to their original packaging, but they still switch it up like this looks really sick with all like the smoke and oh, I just really like it. And then this is what the inside looks like. Very similar to the limited edition palette they came out with in October last year, I think it was. I think it was like the Halloween collection. Maybe it wasn't Halloween. I don't know. 
it was a something collection and it was like all shimmery colors. I think we're going to use all these kind of colors today because I kind of want to do a look that matches my top, which is, which is why I put this top on because I wanted to do something that matched it. You know, hashtag aesthetic. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I just want it to be warm toned because I love warm tones. And they sent me two of the eye brushes. 210 blending and 200 eyeshadow. And I'm gonna start out with this one. The little eyeshadow one because we're gonna pack some stuff on there. Bitch. That's some pigment. Oh. Ah. Oh. Wow, I never know what way these palettes go. Like, are uh, the eyeshadows, because they're written on the back, like, is this color here the one that's right here? Or is this color this one? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what way they go. Oh wait, maybe it's in the shape of the palette. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So the way that the top and the third row here point out is these ones here. So they're the opposite. <laughs> Smart. So I'm going in with the shade. Oh, fuck. Is that it? No. Saffron. And all I'm doing is taking that 200 brush and I'm just packing it straight onto my eyelid. And then I'm going to blend it out with another color in a minute. I'm then going to jump in with the 210 brush from Fenty. These are actually really cute little brushes. Like they're nice and light. Like I really enjoy holding them. And I think I'm going to take this shade, which I think is Spice Trip. And I'm going to use this to blend out the crease area of that saffron shade we just put down. These seem to be blending really nicely so far. Like. These are really pretty eyeshadows. The brush isn't my favorite, but I think it's just because it needs to be like, you know, used a little bit more. I need to like break it in. And then once I've blended that out a little bit, I'm just gonna dust off whatever's left over on this brush because I'm going to dip into the shade, this one right here, which is called Quicksand, I think. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not too shimmery, so hopefully, It'll go okay in the crease. I'm just going to use this to blend out those shades more. So I'm kind of just meshing all three of these colors together now. You guys know I like to have pretty intense <laughs> eyeshadow. So if you don't like this much, you don't have to smoke it out as much. I'm really liking these eyeshadows too. Like they're really nice. I'm not having any trouble. They're blending really nicely. They're not skipping. They're really smooth and buttery and yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, this is a really pleasant experience. <laughs> I might go in with a little bit of this purple shade here and just put it on the outer corner. And that shade is called Fez Up. Fez Up, ya yeah, bitch. I'm gonna take it on that same 200 brush. And we're just gonna pack it on the outer corner. Oh yeah, I liked it. The color that I'm most impressed with is the red saffron shade because a lot of red shades are usually very powdery and chalky and they kind of skip a lot because of like the types of dyes and things that they have to use in those shadows. I would reach back in this palette just for that red, if that makes sense. Like it's just, I don't know, it's really nice. I'm just going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for this because it's my favorite to use. This is the shade Fair. I'm just going over my entire lid with the concealer and right up to my crease with that cut crease E62 brush. I really like this for doing cut creases. My god, my back is broken. I need a new chair for filming because this one like my spine. My socks smell so bad right now because <laughs> I had Ugg boots on over top of them and my Ugg boots stink. Like I, all I can smell is stinky feet now. It's just really not good. My, my nose is suffering. So I'm gonna jump in with that quicksand shade, that little peachy colored one that we used before in the crease. And I'm gonna start packing this onto where I've placed that concealer, just using my eye shading E55 brush from Sigma. I do have a Sigma discount code if you guys wanna pick up any brushes. It's just Casey Rayton and that gets you 10% off. I do make money from that code, so you know. 
go for your life if you want to use it if you don't that's cool no pressure and then with that same brush i'm going to dip back into saffron which is the red that we used initially and i'm going to start placing this in the center of the eye and kind of working my way up so we're just going to like make a little ombre on the eyelid I'm going to jump back in with this purple shade. Where is it? This one there. Pop this back on the outer corner. And make sure that we just have a nice sort of tapered blendation stitch happening. Woo! Look at that bitch! So it's not like the most beautifully blended thing ever, but that's just because I'm a bit shit at makeup. Yours might look better. Probably does. I think I'm going to grab... Um, a glitter out of my drawer and we'll just add a little bit of glitter in there and you know, just make it sparkle. I'm just going to dip into like the tiniest amount of this 24 karat makeup addiction glitter. I'm going to put the majority of it right in the crease. And any that I have left over is just going to go right into the center. And then I'm going to jump in with a little bit of Midnight, Midnight? <laughs> Oh my god. Whoa. Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. It's just a little glitter liner. I'm just gonna run like a little bit of this over top. Just using that same brush to kind of spread it around too. We're going to jump in and do some eyeliner, which is where the tape comes in because it helps keep a really crisp line. This is the new Fenty Beauty, I believe it's called the Fly Liner. Oh, it's not a brush. It's a marker tip. I don't like marker tips. I prefer like the brush tips. We'll see how it goes. Oh, that's actually pretty flexible. It's not as like stiff as the usual marker tip. Still not my favorite, but it's better than a lot of the other ones I've used. I feel like my wings aren't even, oh, I've done fucked up. Let's take off this tape and see how terrible these wings are. That's actually not too bad. Bitch. Oh my god. I, it's literally going to storm outside. Like it was like a beautiful sunny day. It was still cold. But it was like nice and sunny. And now it's just like. Like we're not in Kansas anymore. We shouldn't use this much fucking glitter. It's a lot of glitter. <laughs> it's a lot, a lot of glitter happening up in there. I'm going to jump in and do my face now. I'm going to use my Tarte. Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops because I love these and my skin is very, very dry today. I'm just going to gently massage this into my skin, especially in the areas that I get really dry. Um, and it's perfect for if you have like flaking skin, it kind of like, you know, stops it being like as flaky. And then I'm going to jump in with my Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. I'm in the shade Medium Sand and I'm just blending this out with my Sigma F. 89 brush. I really like this one because it's like an angled kabuki. So it's kind of like fat and dense, but it's like on an angle. It's like my favorite for blending out foundation. I'm so bummed about like this turn in the weather. Like it makes me feel like it's only 3.15 and it literally feels like it's 7 p.m. at night now. So like there goes my plans of going to the gym because it's not going to happen now. I'm now just going to bronze up my skin a little bit because like the rest of me, like my, where's my tan gone? I did my tan like two days ago and it's gone. I'm going to pop on a little bit of this Benefit Do the Hula. So this is really nice because it's like a liquid bronzer. It's pretty much made for just people with pasty ass skin like me. So I kind of. It's kind of a little bit shitty. I usually just use this if I need to like bronze up my chest to match my face and the rest of my body because a lot of the time my fake tan doesn't hold on my chest and my shoulders very well. I feel like that matches a little bit better. And then I'm just taking a little bit on that same brush and popping it on 
the areas of my face that I just want to deepen up a little bit. So that's basically all I'm going to do for like bronzing and contouring today. And then I'm going to jump in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. My dark circles are like insane right now. They're so bad because I barely slept the last couple days. I recently went to Wolgan Valley in the Blue Mountains with Ulla Henriksen um, and a bunch of other influencers. We just stayed one night, but we were there two days in total and we had tons of activities. We did like, we got facials and we did horse riding. Um, we went stargazing. We had like a lunch and a dinner and um, we did like this cold plunge thing. I didn't do it because I'm a pussy, but it was a cold plunge session. So basically you go from like a freezing, freezing cold pool, like so cold. I can't even tell you how cold it was. And then you jump into the sauna really quickly or vice versa. Um, and it's meant to be like amazing for your skin. And it's really big in, um, Denmark where Ulla Henriksen is from. I'm pretty sure that's where he's from. Hopefully I'm not getting that wrong. It was just a really, really lovely trip and he's such an amazing man. He's so incredibly lovely. Like I don't think I've ever met anyone as nice as him. He just had such lovely things to say and just compliments constantly. And it was just, it was a really cool trip, but um, I didn't get a lot of sleep because we were drinking lots of wine and hanging out. And now I'm so tired. So it's like showing on my face. I basically went to sleep at like 7 p.m. last night because I was just dead. I'm now gonna jump in and test out to this Pound Cake. It's literally called Pound Cake. That's the shade name. This is one of the new Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powders from Huda Beauty. I don't know, am I gonna bake? I don't really like to bake. I mean, I like to bake when it's like cookies, but I don't really enjoy baking my face. This smells exactly like the foundation. Hey, that's not too bad. Usually when I bake, it makes my concealer so dark under my eyes. This doesn't look horrible. Now I'm gonna set the rest of my face with that powder too. I'm jumping straight in with some blush now. And I'm testing out, oh, I actually like this. I'm testing out this Wet n Wild blush. This is in the shade, um, Apricot in the middle. It's like really pretty and like glowy. I really love like these peachy kind of blushes. I just think they look so pretty. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Chicka cha. Yes. Oh my goodness. So glowy. It looks like I have money on my cheeks. That's how shiny it is. I may as well use this Wet n Wild highlight too. It's just sitting here. Sitting here waiting to be used. This is in the shade Blossom Glow. I think I used this the other day, but I don't remember. I don't remember what I thought of it. Oh, whoa. That's a bit too much. Wow! That's so much. I'm just trying to like spread what's on my face now. Look, I haven't dipped into any more of it because that's so fucking glowy. Seriously? You. I hid you and now you're back. I actually really like that highlighter. I think I definitely put a little bit too much on, so I'm just gonna take that blush brush and go over it. I haven't really tried much of Wet n Wild before because we've only just started getting it stocked in Australia over here. Um, and it's only online. You can't actually like get it in store. That's the face pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna jump in and we're going to finish off my eyes. I'll zoom you back in for that one. I'm just gonna jump back in with that saffron shade on that same 200 brush that we were using. And then on this little domed E34 brush from Sigma, I'm dipping into the shade Quicksand again and just using this to blend that out. And then finishing off with a little bit of mascara. That's basically, oh, I keep doing this. Keep getting mascara in my hair lately. And then for the inner corner, I'm just gonna go in with that Casablanca shade. Well, that's really pretty. Very impressed. A++, 10 out of 10, gold stars. Thank you so much. What a spicy palette. I think I'm gonna keep the lips 
fairly neutral just because we have so much going on with the eyes. So I'm going to jump in with Fuel 2.0 from Urban Decay. So this is the final look. This is what we've come up with. I would have liked to have done something a little bit different, um, but I just wasn't sure of where this tutorial was going as always. Um, but I am going to do tons more videos using that palette because I do really, really like it so far. But today I just wanted to play with some colors that I love and I know and warm tones is totally my thing. So I just had to use the warm colors today. Hopefully you guys really liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications. That way you guys know anytime that I'm uploading and I will see you in my next video. Oh my fucking back. It's broken. Oh, mm, love that. Oh, my back is breaking.